Wendy, I have the pleasure of heading up Alpha. Alpha is an amazing course where we watch a video, we look into big questions in life like who is Jesus? And we get to eat together, make friends together and live life together. We've just finished one before Christmas and I've really made some great friends on it. People who didn't even know who Jesus was and then they've come along and each week we've listened to their questions and looked into all different things and now they're people really hungry looking into who Jesus is and wanting to change their lives further. We have an exciting opportunity of a new Alpha that is starting on Wednesday the 26th of January, 7.30 here at the centre. Come along, invite people, find friends, find people in the streets, anybody, it's such a great course. Love it to be absolutely full that we don't know how we're gonna provide all the food for. It'd be so good to have more people here looking into who is Jesus, asking those big questions in life that we look out for. Why is there suffering? And and like why is COVID still around and all these things and where does Jesus fit into all of these big questions in life so that's Wednesday the 26th of January 7.30 here at the King's Church. We are so excited to be able to return to New Day as a youth group. This summer, from Monday the 1st of August to Saturday the 6th, we as a youth group, from anyone from the end of year seven to the end of college, will be traveling up to Norfolk and going to New Day. New Day is a Christian festival where literally thousands of young teenagers and Christians gather together to worship God, build community, have great food, and have times of hanging out and hearing God's word. It is an incredible week away, one of the highlights of the year that I cannot recommend highly enough. And New Day booking is now open. I would look out because there is a price break coming soon. So please, please book in to get the best price. How do you do this? I hear you ask. Well, you go to kings.church slash New Day. All of the information, all of the details will be there as well as a place to book in. And if you have any questions, please grab myself or Michael or email families at kings.church and we would love to talk to you and explain what New Day is. Our live stream is back because of the situation with Omnicron. Uh, we brought it back every Sunday as a live stream. You can find it as a public video on our YouTube channel. So it's easier than ever to watch on all your favorite devices. Um, another easy way to find it is to just go to our homepage on our website, scroll down, there's a live stream button. You can click that and you'll be able to see the live stream there. Because it's a public video, anyone can watch and anyone can share. So if you wanna share it with your friends to give them a first taste of church, do use it. Before the Omnicron variant emerged, we were actually planning to go public again with our live stream. Uh, Omnicron's just sped up the process. We've actually made a number of changes just to get the right balance between what's happening here on a Sunday morning in our church gathering and to those watching online. If you wanna catch up with those uh, updates and also the heart and vision behind the stream, uh, you can do so in a video title going live in 2022. That's available on our YouTube channel and also on the live stream page on our website. If you just scroll down the page a little bit, you'll see it there. Our next Joining the Church Family course starts on Sunday the 23rd of January for six sessions. It's a great opportunity for you to come, meet some of the leaders, make some new friends and really find out what are our vision, what's our values, what kind of culture do we want to build at church. So if you're new to Kings, you might have been watching online, you might have been actually in the building for a little while now, do come sign up at kings.church forward slash joining. Coming up in February on Sunday the 6th is an opportunity where you can get baptised. Baptism is something Jesus says in the Bible to do. If we want to follow him, believe and be baptised. If you want to be someone who follows Jesus and says, yeah, I want to be baptised too, and you want to find out more information, maybe chat to someone and say, hey, I'm interested in baptism. Why not get your name down at that connect point in the foyer or at kings.church forward slash baptisms so that we can get in touch with you and get this going. 
Okay, so finances. Just want to talk a little bit about money here as a church. At the end of last year, I provided a financial update, just looking at where we've been as a church and where we're hoping to be in the course this year. As part of that, I talked about this fact that we've probably got about a £60,000 faith gap during the course of this year where we're looking for an additional £60,000 of income coming into the life of the church. That really works out to be a, a few extra thousand pound a month coming in here, whether that was going to be through trading or through local church giving. Now, as you've seen, you know, Omicron variant has meant that trading here is really, really challenged at the moment. It's really tricky to get extra bookings that are coming in. So we don't quite know how the trading is going to look for the rest of this year, but we are so encouraged for men and women that are actually starting to partner with us as a church and giving. Thank you to any of you as individuals that have maybe started to give for the very first time regularly into the life of the church here. We're already starting to see small increases in our monthly income through regular giving of men and women who are part of this church. And so we're so grateful for that. We still have a way to go. Like I said, there's probably a few extra thousand pound a month that we need to do that. And so maybe if you're able to give in any one-off ways, maybe if you're able to start giving um, regularly, um, just by giving direct debits or by going onto our kings.church forward slash giving page of the website and regularly giving into the life of the church and all we do here, we're so grateful for that. Actually, every pound that we get, we long to steward to the glory of God here in this town. So like I said, we're already starting to make a bit of progress for it, but it's still gonna be a bit of a way to go. So so in February 2022, so about a month away, we just want to approach you as the church and talk about the fact that we'd love to take a gift day here. We'd like to take an opportunity where we ask you, members of this church, individuals that were called Kings Your Home, maybe you're just even visiting and you want to give into what you see here and how we steward the finances here of God. And so in February 2022, we want to ask the church to come and give again. See, what you'll find often in February and March, like I do anyway, that we get provided council tax breaks. These are little periods where I often pay my council tax in 10 out of the 12 months during the course of the year. But in February and March, you find that actually you're not asked to pay your council tax to the council in the way that you normally would. And that means that actually you find you get a few extra pounds left in your account at the end of the month that normally goes out on a bill, but doesn't exist anymore. I would love to just approach you as members of this church, as individuals who call this your home, to say, could you give some or all or one month of those council tax breaks here locally to this church? We would love it. It would so help us financially at this moment that we find ourselves in. We're so grateful for the Love Eastbourne Fund that we're able to give away externally. And actually everything that we raise in February that is given into the life of this church, we wanna give half of it away. We actually want to give it to the world in which we live in. We want to give it to church plants like the church plant in Berlin. We want to give it to um, the projects that Scott Marks is doing in Southern Africa and things like in Cozy projects that are taking place. We want to give it to New Grounds, the family of churches that we're a part of. So actually in February, we're going to ask the church to give a gift day and whatever we receive in that gift day, half of it we'd like to keep and to use towards some of the faith gap that we've got here as a church. You know, how amazing would that be if actually that was 30, 40,000 pound that we were able to hold on to and just reduce that gap that we've got for the rest of this year. But then half of it, whatever we raise, half of it, we'd love to just give away outside of ourselves. Because actually we long to be resourced here. We know that God is faithful. We know that God will provide for all our needs, but we also want to be those that use all that God's given to us to bless others, to give away beyond ourselves. And so February, why don't you just consider it? Look at what that would be to you. Look at what that month's council tax break would be. Consider whether actually maybe you're able to give one of those months here. And actually, if you just put it into the offering, if you um, give it online, if you reference it, if you're able to say this is part of that gift day that's coming up, then we're gonna use it and we'll let you know at the end of February, beginning of March, how much we've raised, how much we're gonna to put towards our faith gap here as a church and how much we're gonna give away. And what a great time it's gonna to be to phone people up and say, hey, here's an unexpected gift that we'd love to give you from the saints, from the Christians at King's Church Eastbourne to bless you in all that you do. God is a generous God. He's so generous towards us. Let's be generous towards one another and let's trust him again with our finances for the year that's coming up. We love your church and we thank you for everything that you give.